Grand Finals. Ladies and lads, it's top three time. It is Losers Finals. Here we go. Probably going to be Claudio versus Akuma. Of course it is. Mishima Dojo for the first match. Yeah, I'm excited now to see what Super Akuma can do to, to kind of answer back to Tetsu beating him 2-0 here on the winner's side of the bracket. I wonder, is he going to come in very, very aggressive just to kind of knock a little bit of that, uh, that kind of winner's smirk off his face a little bit? Yeah. Let's have a look and see, guys. Here we go. We're locked in. First, it's reaction. Who's going to take the first match? Very, very important. Okay, big punish there. About a third of health gone now for Akuma. Yeah. Nice. I done the block and all. Something that would be uh, important to let people know is that Tetsu himself has a very strong Akuma. So it might make a little bit of sense why he maybe is getting the wins here versus Super Akuma because he knows the character, right? A lot of top players have said that if you want to know how to play against the character, play the character yourself. Yep, absolutely. That's why uh, on uh, on uh, on patch day when any new characters are announced, everybody is in ranked with them. Everybody is in ranked. Um, so uh, really, really interesting here. But yeah, you can see it there already. The ducks on the strings and stuff. 15 seconds left here on the clock. Wow. Oh, Akuma man. Just smashes himself into the lead there. He's not going to let up until you're dead. Oh, wow. Whoa. Over the Wonder Woman. There's the blue stuff. Oh, my God. Who's in? What? Yeah, Akuma. Just by a pixel. Wow. 60 seconds all but gone. And if that yeah. round is anything to go by, we're going to have a close set here, ladies and lads. Tetsu gets the, uh, the float, it takes it to the wall. Flip over for the Oki. Okay. Just uh, charging up here a little bit. He's got the meter. There it is. They should push to the other wall here. Let's see what damage we've got. Okay, looking for that uh, Yeah, weird Oki setup that we saw the last time Super Akuma played. Okay, looking for that splat. Yeah, that is punishable. Set. Okay. Mm -hmm. Super Akuma in the corner here, but Tetsu really low life here. Oh, okay. just a little bit. Oh, whoa. Oh, what the hell? What? Are we going to see a rage art? No. Why didn't he rage art? Oh, Why didn't he God. rage art? He wanted to use, he wanted to get up and use the plus frames of the rage drive to assert another mix up, right? I don't think the rage art was going to kill, but. Super Akuma jumping right over that rage drive. You love to see it. Or maybe you don't love to see it. <laughs> <laughs> but look at uh, Super Akuma here with two bars. He's definitely going to hold on to him for this round. If he doesn't need to use him, he won't have to. But it's always nice to have that safety net sitting behind him here. Yeah. Tetsu have an uphill battle here, but it starts with that. The well standing two into the Sparkle Fist. Big damage. Yeah, maybe Super Akuma not going to use any meter here just because he's got the two round lead. Let's see if he can make a comeback. Yeah, he doesn't need to, to to throw it out right there. Okay, so he takes the the L there on the round, but he still is sitting on two full meters right there. And if you guys have watched any Tekken World Tour action before, you know what Super Kim was capable of doing yes. with two bars of meter, man. <laughs> Shout out to Chikorin. Yeah, man, that that hurt. That really hurt. Yeah. Okay. And you can see he's looking for that down three. He wants it. So, uh, Tetsu staying out of clean hit range. That could have been a launch maybe with down two. Either way, though, good punish. Okay. All right, there's one bar burned. Oh, nice little punish! Just to get him into that range. Really, really clever idea there, but punish that one. This is gonna hurt. Big wall splash. 10 frame launches, you love to see it. Have yeah. we got down three? Uh-oh, uh-oh! Whoa! KO. Nice. That was all in Super Akuma's favor there. That went so quickly. Like, Tetsu had him. He had him caught. And then it just went wrong for him. He just dropped everything and Super Akuma, all his guesses came up green, like, you know, he won. Really, really good. Yeah, bad. just really good, you know. It's not even just the down threes and the, the jump ins and stuff which gets him the damage, you know. That down four is a very quick, um, you know, a great tracking low which knocks you down and you can't back roll out of it either. So you're stuck in a situation where Akuma gets good Oki. No one really talks about how strong that move is as well, right? And it's uh, an important move. Um, that Akumas have to use. They've nerfed the damage of it over the years, but still very uh, strong in its utility. Um, so yeah, we've seen, we see just the pure mid-low mix-ups that you can do with the Akuma, right? Down forward one, down four. Um, so yeah, good stuff. Final round there though, uh, Sam. So I wonder, are we going to go to an infinite here? Definitely. Uh, I think Tetsu is probably just trying to look for any advantage he can over it, but Super Akuma has already 
uh, broken this uh, this the, the history buff that Tetsu was on. He just bet him 2-0 in the winner's bracket. Super Akuma came back and beats him right there in that game. He said, no, I can take a game off you. Don't you worry about it. I'll come back. I'll come back. Don't worry. Like, you know. Um, so I'd imagine we're in Infinite Azure. Um, here just because of the way Tetsu doesn't maybe like Tomo the cereal? I don't know. Like maybe he wants the wolves. Yeah, there Ooh, we go. Good shout, Spag. Good shout. Yeah. Tomo the cereal. Yeah, he likes that home time, home turf advantage. Yeah, I, I don't think you see Super Kuma himself is quite good on the infinite. So I was thinking that you know maybe just go back to where you're comfortable. Tomo the cereal. Claudio himself has a great wall game. So let's just see. It's all about whoever gets the uh, the positioning. That's exactly it. Yeah. Uh, oh, I don't know if that was the right idea there. Maybe looking for a cheeky screw there out of the air, but doesn't find it. Mm. Magic four doesn't get it. Ooh. Oh, really God. trying that anti-air tech, but not a lot of it's working here in round one. Watch the rage. Yeah. Watch it. Ooh. He didn't nice. care. Good stuff there, Super Kuma. Up in the round here, and he has a bar meter as well. Good punish on the downfall too to start it off. Nice dog. Okay. Just testing him. Testing all of his defenses. Seeing what he can break, what he can get away with. Clever player. Okay. Oh, nearly very close on the Beyblade. He's mm -hmm. looking for it. Yeah. Jab pressure here, Super Kuma keeping it very tight at the moment. He's working on two bars oh. almost, and he gets the wall standing too. It's gonna be a big damage, and he's gonna get the wall. Two bars here now. Yeah. Scary, scary situation for Tetsu. Oh. oh, wow, the dirty Oki stuff. Really, really nice. Two rounds straight air for Super Akuma. We have seen this story before. Um, let's see what Tetsu can do to answer back a little bit. Oh, <laughs> yes. oh that's damage. Look at that combo. Sick. Okay, this is on him a little nice. bit here, Super Akuma. Showing his execution. Looking for that Oki weird stuff. Tetsu, good patience there not to push a button. Hmm. Okay. Does have access to uh, to the new moves there with the Sparkle Fist. Nice. Gets it. Working on this Ooh. comeback. There comes the down fours now. The the mid low mix ups. Ooh. Just jabbing, checking him with the jabs. I like that. Just keep him clean. Stop those jumpings. Keep that jab strong, man. Oh, oh no. nice timing. There it is. Wow, three zero for Super Akuma. He doesn't want any sort of uh, complications in losers final whatsoever. He is going about to like take on our uh, our grand finalist here, Kwis, if he uh, if he can put away one more game like that. Like I said, man, Super Kuma. This is the kind of player he is. He gets stronger as the tournament progresses on. Don't know how he does it, but I told you, you know, the first match was 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 in Tetsu's favor. But I said before this match that I feel like it's going to be a lot harder for Tetsu now. This is just how Super Kuma is, you know. He's very good at asserting a mind game. He's got a very unpredictable defense. He knows when people want to do lows. He has a great feel for the game. He's an experienced player. You said it yourself. Been playing the game since Tekken Tag 2 competitively. I remember the first time I saw him when he came down to London. Actually, that was his first event, I believe, as well, internationally. And uh, he was using his little hitbox back then as well, doing his thing. But yeah, like um, Super Kuma right here, 2-0 up. Only needs one more match. And I believe that Tetsu will probably go back to the uh, Duomo de Sirio and just try to get something started here, Sam. What do you do? What do you do if you're sitting in Tetsu's camp? What do you do? Do you just have to forget about it and play three best of ones now? Or, you know, do you use that beating to kind of fuel your, your fire coming into this? I think that when you're, if you're Tetsu right now, you think to yourself that you've beaten Super Kuma multiple times in tournament and you've done it, you've done it today with a 2-0. So the ability to make the comeback is going to be there, right? It's just about identifying where are you losing? How is Super Kuma playing? Analyze it, take time. Think, where am I getting hit with most of my damage? What is Super Kuma doing? How, does he, how is he choosing to approach? And, you know, if you can answer these questions, we're going to the Infinite Azure, he might have a game plan here. Let's see. Yeah, but it's last yeah. chance saloon for him, man. He needs a reverse sweep. Yeah, but very difficult feat against uh, the, the, the tyrant of Europe right now, um, Super Akuma. Here we go. Super Akuma rocking a six win streak right now. Yeah. Okay, a lot of aggression coming out of Tetsu. Big Beyblade. Gonna send him spinning. Watch that rage now. No bars to work with whatsoever, but he is gonna be working on him over the next round or two. 
Yeah. Huge win there for Tetsu. Very, and very strong. It's very important that he does this and makes Akuma doubt himself because when Super Akuma has two matches uh, in the lead and he's like he's feeling good about himself, he'll start taking risks which, you know, don't make sense, right? Yeah. Um, he gets too comfortable. Oh, wow, what a duck. What a hard read right there. Yeah. Okay. Gets you gotta it. make it. You gotta make it uncomfortable here, man. Tetsu has the blue hands. Can he use it? Yeah. Let's see. Ooh. Right. Very close. Tetsu is whipping a lot. Maybe Super Akuma can come in, but Tetsu answering back with huge combos. Watch the meter. Watch oh, the boy. meter. Ooh. Didn't get the clean. Nice. Okay, Tetsu. No, yeah. I mean, Akuma could have actually killed there. He, he had the, the block on the down 4-2. Jab DP into the meter. Would have given him the round, but it's okay. Tetsu, two rounds up now. Looking very solid. You don't, don't want it to be a 3-0 here, Sam. No, definitely not. We want to see a little bit of, a little bit of fight back. A little bit of, uh, you know, Super Akuma is almost like the bad guy now. So, I mean... Yeah. It's, uh, it's not that I want to see him lose, but sometimes it's nice, you know? <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it's nice. <laughs> two, bar, two bars a meter, no, one bar a meter here. But blue hands here for Tetsu again. Yeah. Oh, wow. Big, big meter burn combo here now. Yeah. Great damage. Still, we haven't seen him use the, the Sparkle Fist, except for the big Beyblade move. Like, there's yeah. a low as well that comes out, but I'd imagine it doesn't really get used against players like Super Akuma. But a huge launch right there. Nice job. This is going to leave Tetsu in rage now. I wonder what he can do with it. Yeah, nice. Five seconds up in the clock. you got to do something here, Tetsu. Nice! Guess the... the... Oh, oh, beautiful! 3-0? Wow. 3-0? Yeah. Akuma he... always said that he's comfortable on the infinites, man. I ain't yeah. seen it. <laughs> man yeah that was good good stuff from uh tetsu you know he kept it kept it sharp um the back dash it was on point you know he still got hit by a down three here and there I and mean, you can't avoid all of them but yeah i mean the, the difference that the infinite stage made i think he might have wanted it you know we were discussing it right is he gonna go to do one with the series you know the infinite the infinite stage definitely worked out for him but now he's gonna have to deal with akuma on probably how the state you know the walls are gonna be in play yeah. but he wins one more match sam final match that's it Right? So if you're Tetsu, I think you do what you what you said to do, right? Think of it as each individual match, just three first at once. Yeah. Um, it's uh, the, the quarterback's memory, you know? It's not uh, it's not your play that's bad. It just didn't work out that time, you know? Keep it up. Keep it up. I, I feel like Tetsu can make this comeback. He definitely... He's already beaten Super Kuma 2-0. So he does know it. And I mean, yeah, Super Kuma is definitely playing out of his mind right now. He got that loser's bracket buff, man. You know? He's, uh, he's rocking it, like, but uh, Tetsu can stand in his way here. We just saw it there, 3-0. He can do it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. That's going to give him some confidence. But, of course, the walls are going to be back in action here. So it is that, you know, different dynamic. He's lost twice on the, on the wall stage. If you're Super Kuma, you're still kind of, you know, you're not panicking yet. You're not panicking yeah. yet, right? So uh, he's feeling good about himself right now. He's 2-1 up and he's one match away from going into the grand finals. Can he finish it here or are we going to get a final match? It's been so good so far, man. This top three is looking like it's going to be absolutely insane. We've got Cable sitting up in the grand finals. And it is just as we said it was going to be. Howard is state here for Super Kuma. So many walls to break. Much damage to be had. Can he finish it here? Or are we going to get a final match? Let's see. I love that. I love that, man. You see those blossoms and stuff, you know? Mm. Well, here we go. We're in the game. Okay. Aggression. Nice. Good whiff money there from Super Kuma. Yep. He doesn't let much damage go, man. Super Kuma's punishment and his, you know, oh, low parry down the low. Yeah, his combos always look so optimal. Yeah. Okay. Tetsu. Just inside a rage now. A couple more pokes and that'll get him into the... Whoa! Yeah. Big whiff punish right there. Gets himself the blue hands as well at the end of that combo. He's got a small life lead, a very fragile one. Super Kuma is sitting on one bar a meter. One touch could do it here for him. And he's Okay. Yeah. Uh, Super Akuma, really, really clever play there to, to take the round without using the map, the meter there. Yeah. Um, so he's now sitting on a bar and a half. And... Uh, the round lead uh, as well. Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of getting scary now if you're a Tetsu fan. Yeah, see, this is what we spoke about last time. In the winner's side, Tetsu was super clutch in those situations where he was able to win those rounds when it when it went down to the wire. But he's going to have to do that a lot more if he wants to make this comeback. A big drop on the combo, but he has a massive life lead. 
We've seen what uh, what uh, Super Akuma can do with Rage. Okay, and a perfect answering big, big message sent there to Super Akuma. Now keep your eye on the corner of that screen though. That Barometer is is growing, and look at the counter hit, back three three. Okay. He does have the two meters there now, so there is potential for absolutely huge damage right there. Yes, sir. Here we go. I assume we can actually like literally take this, the life lead back now. Yep. Just one hit is needed here. That's who can be back okay, a lot. He got the rage. He got the rage. This is where it gets scary. Oh no, don't tell me! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, watch his health bar. Oh my damn. Oh my god, no, he's a side wall flat lucky. Goes for the mid this time! Yeah. Mix up time! Oh my god, Super Akuma! Putting oh him into the god. blender and now he's on set point to move it to grand finals! What a comeback! What an absolute comeback right now. What a difference two bars of meter makes. De definitely. Definitely. Look at this, he's already working on another one here now. He should have it in the next couple of seconds. There it is. And he picks up, uses it instantly, breaks the wall, still has the screw left over. He should get the next one? No. Doesn't get in enough to break it. But this is it, Super Kuma, man. You can see the light, the end of the tunnel. A beautiful punish there with a jab DP. Rage available. Now, nice float. Tetsu is not going to be enough, though. He has rage available and the star burst. You're going to have to use this now. Yep. Where's that clutch Tetsu that we saw in the winner's bracket? He uses it. Oh. No, oh! Oh! No! no punish! That's Super Akuma in front of you, homie. Kill him! Oh. He was out of range, I think. The hop kick wasn't going to work. Ah, there's a double one more tip. Ah! Oh One more, God. he's gonna do it! Seven seconds left, he doesn't need much more, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen, your grand final for the Tekken Online Challenge. EU West has just been decided. Kawis versus Super Akuma. These are uh, two of our favorites. I said Kawis, you said Super Akuma. Let's yeah. go! Yeah, absolutely no surprises there, Manny.